All right, next game, uh, Cardinals at the Panthers. Uh, Cardinals open up minus four. It's down to three and a half. So this is the other half of that Detroit-Arizona game we were talking about. So uh, Kyler Murray coming off his first loss. Uh, how, how do you think he's going to rebound? Who do you like in this game? I like the Cardinals a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up betting this one just because I don't love the number. Um, also, the number one reason that I don't like this to an extent is because Teddy Bridgewater, who I wrote his name as Spready Bridgewater here because he always covers the spread, um, <laughs> except for the first two games of this season. So um, I, I think the, the Cardinals match up very well against the Panthers defense. There aren't a lot of teams that don't, but the Cardinals have – a lot of running weapons between Kenyon Drake, Chase Edmonds, and then Kyler Murray. They'll be able to take part that uh, Panthers run defense that has not been very good this year and has allowed an NFL high seven rushing touchdowns to running backs. Um, so the Cardinals are going to have to beat them on the ground. They haven't really needed to use Kenyon Drake to uh, win games so much this year. I think it's going to be a big week to kind of get him more involved um, really have him carry the offense and then let Kyler Murray run off play action and then just cause havoc at the Carolina secondary. Um, but I do think the Panthers on offense are, are pretty good. They have three good receiving weapons. Teddy Bridgewater doesn't turn the ball over, which is pretty big. Um, and I, I just think that uh, they're, the Cardinals aren't necessarily going to have trouble slowing them down but i think stopping them entirely is not going to happen as often as we'd think um and we saw last week against the uh chargers the panthers did a pretty good job of moving the ball consistently they didn't find success in the red zone but they kept that game close and were able to win it uh, by just scoring points early and often even in three-point increments so i think that uh, i think the panthers can keep this close i think the cardinals ultimately win because they have the motivation coming off of a loss they'll want to prove themselves and, you know, the Panthers aren't that good, but I, I just do I do see a world in which the Panthers start off well, find a way to contain Murray a little bit early on, build up a lead and Arizona has to come back. So that's why I'm uh, not super high on this game, but I do like the Cardinals at this number. OK, yeah, I'm not high on this game either. So we're, uh, we're going to disagree again, but I'm not, I'm not going to bet Carolina in all likelihood unless something shows up on the injury report. Um, it's kind of discouraged by what Kyler Murray uh, did last week. He kept staring down his receivers, which I thought, you know, like it, uh, uh, like at first hand, like I, I was like, this is pretty surprising. He's been playing so well. But then I kind of remembered that he's only in his second year. So I it, like this sort of inconsistency is bound to happen, per, I, I guess. Um, but that's something he has to clean up because if he keeps doing that, he's going to keep throwing interceptions. So, um, you know, not that this matchup's very difficult for him, but then again, the, the Detroit matchup should have been very easy too. Uh, and, and, you know, he lost the Lions at home. So I, I think he could definitely lose to the Panthers on the road, um, especially with the, uh, the, the receivers, the, the Panthers have, uh, they have so much talent at that position and Arizona's, uh, cornerbacks have, have not played well this year. Uh, Patrick Peterson's not even playing that well. Uh, and then you have Isaiah Simmons, who's barely been on the field. So, um, Arizona's had a lot of trouble covering players. And the Panthers, even with McCaffrey out, you have Mike Davis, who's, who's catching pass as well. So I think the Panthers should be able to move the ball on Arizona. Um, and, uh, you know, conversely, I think Arizona will do the same thing. So I think this would be a high scoring game. Um, and I, I think this line's a touch too high. I, I made it. Um, I think I made it Arizona minus two. And the computer model thinks Arizona minus three is correct. Um, so we're off by like one or two points, uh, or, or I guess a half or one and a half points. Um, but we're going across three. And I, I think the most likely result of this game is Arizona winning by three. So if you take the plus three and a half, you probably win more often than not. So that's why I'm taking Carolina, but I'm not, I'm, I don't really see a good reason about this game. Yeah, I, I think you and I are both thinking similarly in terms of how we evaluate the matchup. And I understand why you would take the plus three and a half here, because I do think a field goal game is definitely possible. Um, I, I just have this this like strong inkling that the Panthers coming off a win might end up being flat because they know that they're not the best team in the world. Like they're probably not going to go to the playoffs barring some surprise and I think I think it's just a motivational factor for me. But again, I don't love this game. At most, I would bet one unit on it, and I'm probably not going to bet it. So I think there are other better numbers on the slate. But there there are quite a few games this week where I feel like the line is just half a point off from what I need it to be to want to bet it. So I think we're going to see quite a few of those uh, later on. Yeah, I think the lines are tighter this week for sure.